it's Shay with the House of Henry and this is another pregnancy vlog. This, uh, today I am 13 weeks pregnant so this is a recap of weeks 11 and 12. The biggest thing that happened over the past two weeks is, well during my first pregnancy I developed skin tags. Uh, if you're not familiar with skin tags, I'll insert a picture here. So yeah, they're little growths that come just randomly at you know any point in your life. But I just so happen to be affected by skin tags during my pregnancy. And the gynecologist assured me that it was a common thing. It's because of um, additional hormones or whatever the case may be. Uh, during my first pregnancy, I had a few skin tags on my butt. And uh, during labor, uh, my doctor actually was able to cut them off surgically. Just go ahead and remove them. So fast forward now to this pregnancy and I have a skin tag that develop, developed again. Same spot that it used to be in, but um, the location of this one uh, was incredibly, incredibly uncomfortable. Uh, when it was flat and not in engorged it was um you know it, it wasn't a problem but then like second day into my 11th week of pregnancy it got engorged and i would say it was probably like the size of uh, an olive pit like the seed of, of an olive it was kind of like that size and where it was it was like rubbing every time I walk like this. So it was incredibly, incredibly painful. By the time I got to my doctor, the skin tag actually had become infected and inflamed and it was not looking good. So she was like, okay, we're going to go ahead and start you on a week long of antibiotics and then you're gonna come back in a week and I'm gonna remove it. I said, okay. Meanwhile, my husband is looking on YouTube and Googling ways to uh, remove a skin tag at home. Now, I never trust like at home doctoring of that kind of stuff. Like I'm all about holistic medicine and trying herbs and different, you know, oils to uh, as opposed to conventional medicines like, you know, for headaches and or for the sniffles or a cough. But this is a, you know, this is something that's I don't, I don't consider that the same thing <laughs> like when I had a, when I had surgery and I had to have my stitches removed he was like oh let me just take them out instead of paying the doctor you know for a visit I'm like well I never had stitches before so I don't know I'm not gonna just let you sit there and pluck them out like I want it in a sterile environment and all this stuff so uh, you know so needless to say I didn't let him take out my stitches and I wasn't gonna let him remove my skin tag so I'm like no I'm gonna go ahead and wait my week on these antibiotics and I'm gonna let the doctor do her thing, you know? <laughs> so started the antibiotics and uh, the inflammation went down, uh, the pain and swelling went down. Um, but then before you know it, like I looked up and, well I looked down and <laughs> it was gone, like it had fallen off. She advised that I take, off, take the um, bandage off once the swelling went down enough so it wouldn't be uncomfortable for me to walk. So once I took the bandage off for a couple of days, then I noticed it was gone. And I'm like, oh, oh, where to go? So <laughs> apparently it just, you know, died off naturally or the, um, you know, so much friction just kind of like rubbed it off and I don't know where the thing is. <laughs> it's crazy. But it, it came off and now, so it's now just a, it just looked like a, you know, something that I, Pick then is it like a sore or something so it just has like a little scab on there um the baby is the size of a jalapeno now that i am 13 weeks and i believe y'all i know i showed y'all my little pooch in the last video and y'all are like eh, maybe i see it maybe i see it but watch this belly right here <laughs> i'm totally totally showing now like watch you're gonna see okay but look let me show you this um the image but this is the baby at 13 weeks can you see that let me see that's the hand 
of the baby compared to the hand of a nine month old. Uh, okay, so hopefully you were able to see that because last time you weren't able to see the actual nine month old hand, I don't think, uh, too well. But yeah, other than that, I'm still breastfeeding. I don't know, I just have, I just can't stop. It's me, it's not her, it's me. Uh, I'm just mentally not ready, I guess. Uh, but uh, there's no reason medically that I need to stop. I was advised to stop once I reach 14 weeks if nursing caused me to have cramps, which some women do experience. But I haven't had any cramps yet. I would definitely, um, you know, wean if, if that was the case. But I haven't experienced any cramping. I haven't, um, the pain is actually subsiding. And uh, it's just, I don't know when I'm going to stop. I've, I heard about those women, I mean, I heard about those children who actually just wake up one day and stop wanting to boob. <laughs> but, and I think somewhere in my mind, I'm like, oh, that's going to happen to us. It's going to be great. I'm not going to have to wean, you know. Uh, she's just going to one day and not want it. You know, but I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know when that's going to be. And I don't know if I'll actually wait for that day to happen. But for now, I haven't been weaning because it's just too hard emotionally. I'm too tired uh, physically, uh, physically drained and just worn out all the time. So I just, um, I just, I don't have the energy, patience or anything else to deal with weaning right now. So I'm fine with that. I'm fine with her still breastfeeding. And she eats, she eats food, she eats really well. She really just gets on a boob like for nap time and you know, they go to bed. So it's not like she's being deprived of actual, you know, real food and stuff. So it's not like that. She just uh, uses my boob for comfort, which that, I think they're pretty comfortable. Yeah. So here's a belly shot and then I'll let y'all go. <laughs> With the shirt, I know y'all see that. Excuse this, I think I had some goldfish or something. Anyway, y'all know I ain't worried about that. So yeah, look at that. Bam! Watch this. Boop! <laughs> y'all see my belly? You see my belly? Okay. From the front. And from this side. Belly! So yeah, that's definitely showing. Definitely showing. So thank you for coming um, and checking out the pregnancy vlogs. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in about a week or two. <laughs> All right, bye.